up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Awakened Moments. Um, Pastor Matt's behind the camera today. Uh, we just figured it would be pretty cool with what I'm talking about. Um, you know, for just me. No offense. <laughs> but uh, today I want to talk to you guys about something that um, the Lord has been putting on my heart really strongly the last couple days. Um, even just for myself and my devotional time. And I know I've said this before, but I'm never going to tell you guys about things that I haven't dealt with myself. I'll never, you know, preach at you or tell you things that I haven't walked through myself. And so uh, when the Lord was pressing into my heart that uh, basically he's wanting us to be anchored in his truth and just reaffirming that his word is our truth and it is our foundation to stand on, um, I just really knew that I needed to share it with you guys. And so I have a couple verses that I would love to give you and I kind of have a little bit of a challenge for you. Um, but I'm going to start in the book of John and I'm going to read the message version because it just says it so plain and simply. And, um, so I'm going to have two scriptures, but I'll start with John 16, 31 through 33. And it says, Jesus answered them. Do you finally believe? In fact, you're about to make a run for it, saving your own skins and abandoning me. But I'm not abandoned. The Father is with me. I've told you all this so that trusting me, you will be unshakable and assured, deeply at peace. In this godless world, you will continue to experience difficulties. But take heart, I've conquered the world. And so what Jesus is saying here is that you can be unshakable and assured. You can stand firm and be anchored in his truth because of what he's done for us and what he's done for the world. You can go into any situation. You can go into any mindset. You can conquer any fear that you have and be unshakable about it. And there's nothing that can essentially rock your world because there's nothing that can catch you off guard when you're anchored in that truth. And so I'm also going to read in Hebrews 6, um, and I just love what this says. I'm going to start in verse 18 and go to verse 20. Um, again, I'll just read the message version. But it says, We who have run for our very lives to God have every reason to grab the promised hope with both hands and never let go. It's an unbreakable spiritual lifeline reaching past all experiences, appearances. Wow, I don't know how I wrote that wrong. <laughs> reaching past all appearances right to the very presence of God where Jesus, running on ahead of us, has taken up his permanent post as high priest for us. So, I love that in both scriptures we see that we are unshaken and that we can stand firm because of what Jesus has done. And so, in that truth, um, I just want to encourage you guys and kind of challenge you throughout this week. Um, lean into those verses. Lean into that scripture because there's something to be said about being anchored and it's kind of like, that quote, uh, I don't know if I'm going to say it right, but uh, if you stand for nothing, then you'll fall for anything. Um, but basically, if you don't know who you are and you don't know whose you are, then what are you going to fall into? What can take hold of you? But if you're anchored in the truth of God and you're anchored in the word, then there's nothing that can shake you. There's nothing that can ruin your day. There's nothing that can throw you off track. And that's not to say that you won't have bad days and you won't have hard times and you won't have hard seasons, but... That's just to say that when those hard seasons come, you'll be anchored. And that's essentially, you know, you think about what an anchor actually is. It's going to hold things in place, hold the boat in place whenever a storm comes. And so you want to be anchored in Christ. You want to be anchored in what he says about you. And so just take that to heart this week. Um, you know, everything is opening back up and it seems a little less scary, but I know that this time has really shaken a lot of you and whether you know it or not, um, there's things that have happened in you spiritually and emotionally during this time um, that you might not know exactly what to do with. And so when you're anchored in the word of God and you're anchored in the truth of who he is and who you are, then you really don't have to be so affected by everything going on. So I just want to encourage you guys with that and um, I'll just close in prayer. It's kind of weird not having a pastor matt to be like do you have anything to say so um yeah <laughs> it's just me rambling but i'll go ahead and pray and uh just know that we love you guys and uh we definitely want to give you the encouragement during this time and even though things look a little less crazy right now 
um, you still need it. You still need to know who you are and whose you are. So, Father, we thank you so much for just being in our midst, even as we do these videos and even as we uh, go into a time that seems like everything is kind of looking up. God, we just ask that you would cover us in your truth, that you would speak to us, that you would speak the truth of who we are in you. God, that you would just point out scripture, that you would just point out anything that we need to see about ourselves during this time, Lord. We thank you and we praise you for everything that you're doing, everything that you're doing through these videos and everything that you're doing in these youth kids, God. Amen. All right. We love you guys. See you next time. Tonight.